Really excited today, two really interesting studies uh, presented amongst many other great ones. MANAGE, this is an important study because we see patients after surgery who have myocardial necrosis. And those patients we know for some reason that are at high risk for thrombotic events. So would a antithrombotic or a novel oral anticoagulant, a, uh, a DOAC, a direct oral anticoagulant, could that actually make an important difference? That was the question MANAGE tried to answer. 3,200 patients who had uh, this kind of a troponin elevation after surgery, uh, lots of exclusions, but really good patient population. Um, they were supposed to enroll 3,200. Unfortunately, they didn't get to it. It was very slow enrolling. About 1,700 patients got enrolled. They had to change the, the um, endpoint included some extra things like vascular complications uh, and you know vascular events which is not ideal nonetheless they showed that Debigatran did reduce these important complications there's a lot of caveats in the trial because uh, many patients discontinued the therapy so I think that really needs to be evaluated Nonetheless, it's an important area. We don't know what we should be doing about patients with myocardial injury. I'm not sure this answers the question, but it opens doors for other areas of investigation. The second study is another study in a peri-procedural, if you will, uh, and, and especially looking at statin therapy, giving um, you know, major high-dose statins at a, with a, a patient who presents with an acute coronary syndrome. Uh, does that reduce major adverse cardiac events? Over 4,000 patients around the globe, mostly in Brazil, uh, enrolled in, in this trial, presented with an ACS. 66% of these patients underwent PCI. They all got uh, an, a loading dose of a torvastatin 80 milligrams. They were supposed to get it after the procedure, but they only got that in about 77% of the patients, two doses. What they showed that overall ACS patients, so you can't, you had no impact. There was no impact in reducing MACE. But in the PCI patient population, as you would have expected, there was a reduction in myocardial infarction at 30 days in these patients. MACE was reduced, driven by myocardial infarction. And that was what was interesting. It wasn't all periprocedural MIs. So very interesting study. I don't know how that changes anything because at the moment, we really do feel like uh, high-dose statins do reduce periprocedural myocardial infarction, so we're giving it to a lot of our patients already. But important, important trial to go through. So two really great studies.